obviously you woke up to the sad news this morning. What, what did Ted mean to you? Oh, he was, he was great, you know, just, uh, just a lot of good memories of him coming down to the locker room and uh, talking, to, talking to all the guys, but, uh, you know, personally I can say that he was just a great guy for myself to talk to and he had a lot of great stories and uh, just always so positive, you know, and, uh, you know, he just always, you know, made you think, you know, and remind yourself how thankful you are and how lucky we are to, to play in the, in the National Hockey League and um, just just a clue, true, uh, classy, uh, very classy person and uh, obviously meant, meant a lot to this organization but meant a lot to the NHL. Did you have any favorite stories that he would tell you? You know, he, meant, he mentioned that, uh, you know, obviously they're really successful, won all the Stanley Cups, but, uh, you know, he said uh, Jack Adams had made some moves and he thought that, you know, with their group, they should have they should have won three or four more Stanley Cups easily. So he's he's a little disappointed about that, but he obviously how you know successful they were and how good a group of guys they had. He just said they were they were a group that uh, you know loved playing for each other and obviously travel was different and you know riding the train and um, you know just uh, you know mentioned how with the fans the fans were more like I'm not on top of you, but like. You know, with with uh, no glass, either like, you know, right there with the chicken wire fence, and uh, just just mentioned, uh, you know, there there'd be a lot a uh, lot more chirping going on with the fans and, and the players. And uh, but he's he was a tough individual, tough customer on the ice, but uh, you know, just such a such a great great person off the ice, and you know, uh, just very fortunate to to meet him and have. Uh, spend some time with him. How about the legacy that he will leave off the ice, both for the Players Association and then with the autism work? Yeah, obviously with the Players Association, he's, you know, without him, I don't think the Players Association would be where it is today. You know, he was a huge, huge part of that. Um, you know, and then his autism uh, foundation, golf outing that he runs, uh, obviously uh, it's, a, it's a great event and, you know, always enjoy, you know, seeing him you know, each year, and, um, you know, at, at the golf outing and, and talking to him. And like I said, he's always such a positive person and always had such a great outlook on, outlook on life, um, you know, and just, uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously an amazing legacy, great life he lived, um, you know, and uh, a great person for, uh, you know, many of us to look up to. Getting to your team today, uh, just what do you guys have to do to get back on the winning side of things? Uh, you know, we just got to make sure that um, you know our details in our game are, are great. You know, we're uh, not giving up any easy chances, and uh, and uh, you know we're we're making sure that uh, you know we're we're working you know as as, as hard as possible. But you got to you got to work smart too, and uh, so. Try to correct some things today as far as um, sort outs and, and gaps and, and make sure that uh, you know, we're not giving up easy chances.